maximum creepiness, I'm gonna unmute it. For maximum creepiness, I'm gonna unmute it. <laughs> For maximum creepiness, I'm gonna unmute it. Okay, stop! <laughs> Alright. If you all unmute it, it'll just be this infinite cycle of delays. Right, it's a huge, awesome. Alright. Cycle of delays. Right, it's a huge, awesome. So, so what is the objective of the game? The objective of the game is to try and help Dale escape the Black Lodge. And the way that that's accomplished is you keep going to the top and the right. And you literally just keep doing that over and over until you do. Right, yeah. Once you, you as you see, you get 100 points each time you do that. Once huh. you get, I think it's, uh, I, I coded it to be 2 million points, you win. <laughs> I did not kill anybody. There's our buddy Leland Palmer, who, well, I mean, if you're still intent on watching the show, we're not gonna, we're not gonna talk about any of that. Actually, since this is based off of the last episode of the series, you probably shouldn't even be on this stream, Noel. I have a general idea of what happened. Spoilers don't bother me. Okay, this is Laura Palmer. Quiet. She says that, and she starts screaming. If the screams touch you, then your controls are reversed, <laughs> and that gets really, really obnoxious. Yes, it does. And that's your doppelganger. If he touches you, you die. You have three lives. If you die, though, you have the chance of game overing unless you shoot an owl into Killer Bob or your doppelganger who are trying desperately to meet each other in the center of the room. And here's where the walls are just kind of screaming at you. From this point on, everything is random, right? The, the rooms yeah, that you... Yeah, all these have... rooms are randomly chosen from, I think it's 24 or 25 different rooms that I made. Yeah, again, for uh, anybody watching this, I have not played this game in about two years. Uh, I did make this game. Yeah, see, that's what happens when it touches you. Yeah, he just kind of slows you down, from what and, I remember. And he takes your points away. Which are... They do come into play in if you're trying to get to the end of the game. Because unlike most Atari 2600 type games, this one actually does have an ending. But I don't expect many people to find it without... Is, is it composed of, of three text screens instead of one? I'm sorry, what's that? Is it composed of three text screens instead of one? Oh, I see what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see. But anyway, yeah, me and Angel watched Twin Peaks a lot yeah. a couple of years back. And I really liked the last episode a lot, so I coded this game in my spare time, put it up on my website for a few friends to find. Yeah, Lynch is one of those directors I really need to go through at some point. Uh, I've I seen Eraserhead and Elephant. So what was that? I said I've liked what I've seen of his so far. I've only really seen this, Blue Velvet. I think that, that may be it. But I, I do like his work, but I have a lot of it I'm missing. I caught like the first hour of Blue Velvet at one point, but I never got to finish it. Yeah, I've only really seen Eraserhead and Elephant Man, and that's about it. Mm. Yeah, not very good at these timing puzzles. Even though I programmed them. Oh, and Dune, of course. Dune is less a David Lynch film and more a film David Lynch did. Yeah. Now from this room you can get to the ending, but we don't know about the significance of that room yet, so we're not, we can't go anywhere, right? Oh, are you waiting to go see the guy first? Yeah, the so... whole point of this is to do a full playthrough of, of this Okay. Game. So I need to get 5,000 points, and seeing as I'm down to my last guy already, oh, this fucking room again. Bypass glitch here. Ow. Just, um... You just, just gotta follow the same path as the chair. You gotta... You know, it, it looks easier than it is. I mean, the doppelganger's not helping you, but... 
I, I do remember the hit detection of being behind the chair being pretty wonky. Oh, I made it super unforgiving because I wanted to be just like the old Atari games. Yeah, when people say, oh, that game's Nintendo hard, they really mean it's Atari hard. I feel like you should probably tell people what the voices are saying because I have I a feeling a lot of people have a hard time hearing it. Yeah. Yeah, but that makes it creepier. <laughs> now, hold up, there was there was something I coded in here. Oops. Is that the README file, essentially? Was that what that was? I did yeah, you push F1 and it body. pops that up. Get the mouse off the screen. That was, I did not kill anybody. Uh, thank you. Which makes sense in, in context of the show. Meanwhile. She, meanwhile. she she says meanwhile and then she screams. That's one of the things that happens in the Black Lodge. It, it really, I mean, like even if you don't watch the show, I think it's worthwhile to watch like a clip of what happened because it's just. So I've seen a few snippets from like back when they would talk about it on like I Love the '90s and stuff. Mm hmm And it, I mean, he really he does a good job of getting that dream you know where strange things happening it makes no sense very very off-putting as and, i said i've seen a racer head <laughs> yeah i mean you know he, it's it's lynch it's what he's good at doing yeah, oh, yeah the sound is is that you're, the sound is about a screen ahead of what I'm seeing? Oh, okay, so yeah, Skype you get a spoiler when I run into a screaming room. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it's, it's fine. It's a scream of portents. Salt the room there. <laughs> it's not as bad as a delay of we've, as we have a few times. Yeah, sometimes it's as much as like 20 seconds. Hitting this room a lot. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. It's it, now, once whenever again, it's I, random, I right? Come up. Yeah, it's completely random. Watch whenever I want it to come up, it's not gonna show up. Uh-huh. Oh my god, an actual puzzle. <laughs> well, if you like puzzles, uh there, there's there's more in the second part of the game for you. Yeah, if you ever do get hit by the screams, unfortunately, people aren't going to be able to see by looking at it just how frustrating it is. Yeah, it um, reverses your controls for, I think I set it to about seven seconds or maybe less, maybe more. I don't remember anymore. It, it's like basically just long enough for you to get used to it so that once you switch back again, you can... Right. <laughs> I'm a pretty sadistic. That's brilliant. I'm a pretty sadistic game developer. Oh shit! And I just walked into my into the screen. Doing that so was well. another thing that I remember complaining. Like you're oh, making this so hard. Oh my god! <laughs> no one's gonna want to play this. <laughs> so what is it if you can shoot uh, shoot some of those owls down? You get to come back. Right. Well, you have three lives. Uh, if you if you get caught by the doppelganger, you lose a life. I mean, it's lost. You're not going to get it back. But you also can game over if you don't shoot the owl into either Killer Bob or Doppelganger, who are both desperately trying to meet each other in the center of the room. Uh. And yeah, the first part of this game, it's sort of a born-to-die kind of thing, because you can't get the hint on how to get to the second part of the game unless you die. But in order to get that hint, you need to reach 5,000 points, which I made intentionally pretty difficult to do if you don't know the tricks of all the rooms. Oh shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah, you hit it again? Yeah. That wall. It's 
I love his little duck, it's so cute. <laughs> yeah, based the animation of the walking off of... Come on, you fucker! <laughs> I, I based a lot of things out of come on fuckers too. Yeah, me too. I mean, it's sort of a go-to, you know. One one day the go-to come on you fucker well is house and eat 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 ho 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 ho. That's him saying that's how's it? Annie? How's Annie? How's Annie? Ha 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 ha. Which people who have watched the show know is the last scene of the series. Here we go again. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I based the uh, walking animation routines loosely off of the uh, the human characters from the E.T. game. So, they look a little familiar, that's why. I did not kill anybody. Good for you, Lilo. Just as long as you don't fall into any pits that you have to rise out of by stretching your neck. Right, no. I'll save that for the pros. One day I might do a stream of E.T. Just because it is not the worst game ever made. There are so many worse games. Even contemporary to it. I think it's just supposed to be a game that has a very specific way to play it and most people just couldn't figure it out. Well, because they don't bother to remember that in the days of the Atari you had to read the fucking manual. Yeah. Well, I think the the problem is is that while a lot of while there are still some copies floating around, I don't know that the manual has always kept floating around with them. Well, it's easy enough to find these days too, you know. Just download it. Off of, like, Stop Atari. taking people's excuses away. Atari age. <laughs> I live to take away people's excuses. Oh shit! I live to not do well at my own game too. Yeah, here we go. Oh. Fuck shit. So close. So is there, are you gonna, maybe after a certain number of tries, just go ahead and do the secret? Nope. We're doing this no? legitimate. Alright. Uh, that's my favorite room. I mean, you did get close. You got to like 4,000 at least, right? Yeah, it was 4,000 something, something, something. So... You might be able to make it. Yeah, this will be fun. Hey, Noel, you want to crank out an hour of Resident Evil and then I watch him play three hours of this? <laughs> <laughs> He'll never do another stream with me again. So now in these other rooms where Laura, oh, I just saw her, I was going to ask if Laura Palmer does anything else in some of the other rooms she appears in, but then I just saw her scream at you. Uh, we should also explain that there's, depending, different rooms, you either have to walk above or below her. Yeah, I coded two rooms to be almost identical except for where you have to walk, uh, and there's the slightest of clues as to which room it is when you get into it. If you edge up to her, her eyes will turn red before she starts screaming. So that's how you figure out which room you're in. Oh, why'd you have to make it easy for her? <laughs> <laughs> that's the definition of easy, I'd hate to see hard. Yeah, I think it's worth mentioning that um, despite the fact that you giving me all of the various hints and clues. I don't think I was ever able to beat this. I definitely couldn't get 5,000 points. I may not be able to beat this. <laughs> I guess, okay, I mean, yeah, this I'm is the room, them. see? Uh, okay, so if I take the lower path, she's gonna be red eyes. So that means the upper okay. path. And she can sleep some more. Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, not getting through this room. And he, the doppelganger speeds up the further you go, right? Right, the higher your score is, the faster he walks. I yeah. think he peaks at around 4,000 or 4,500. So yeah, I think he's already the fastest that he's going to be. 
I will say this, the game makes me interested even more to watch Twin Peaks. <laughs> okay, back here again. This time it's the lower path that we want to take. Because the upper path would activate her. Thought I walked into it for a second there. Close. You get lucky enough with the rooms, you might... Yeah. <laughs> Keep giving That's me the this problem with the random. I coded the timer to go a little bit longer in these puzzle rooms just to make it fair. It's the one break that I give the player. In this case, myself. Oh, shit. He's talking about before the doppelganger enters? Yeah, usually I cannot get through this room. I forget the trick, oh. and I think that was my last life. Yep. 49! Oh! Uh, yep. Starting over. <laughs> oh, no. You were so close! See, and that's why he brought us in on Skype, so we can't how physically happy, pull him away happy, from the game. How happy, how happy. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. Angie, how are you doing? I'm good. I'm hungry. I'm kind of hoping he finishes this soon. <laughs> <laughs> I think all I of us used... on this stream are hoping I finish this soon. Yeah, I can't. I would have used that excuse, but I had a sandwich right before he started. <laughs> I took down all my Halloween decorations, so. But I'm definitely not putting up Christmas yet. I did not. <laughs> Well, just congrats on the creep show episodes. Those really did turn out fun. Oh, thank you. I, I was tempted to actually do like a surprise thing like that for creep show three, but then I'm like, that's that would require work. Yeah, that, you would have had to plan that a bit earlier. <laughs> Well, I planned it like a month ago, but I'm like, I have so much that I wanted to get done this month. <laughs> I'm still getting those West Craven ones. I'm trying to get Hills Have Eyes done for this weekend and try to get another one out next yeah, weekend. That's how that's done. Mm -hmm. all my points. I also wanted to make a game where points actually matter again. You don't really see that anymore. I haven't seen that since the Atari, really. Yeah, pretty much. But in more of a more of a case than just, you know, I got the high score. Yeah, I don't know that I've ever played a game in my lifetime where the points actually meant anything. Except I think there was one game I played where the points are your actual ammunition. Hmm. I can't remember what it was, though. I'd be interested to hear about that. Probably something for the Sega in the 90s. Oh, my favorite room. Oh, shit. About to lose a life here. Not happening. Wait, what? I didn't see what the hell knocked you back. <laughs> The chair, it's its hit detection is very wide, so it doesn't always yeah. look like the chair is hitting you. Or was it the statue? It's the statue. The statue's the statue not back. Oh, is that why you're ducking? Yeah. Yeah. It automatically That first ducks. one's kind of your hint that the other ones are going to hurt you. Okay. Can you show me on the pixels where the statue hurt you? So have you made any other games, Jack? I've got a bunch that I'm working on still. I just haven't had any time to really work on them beyond a little bit of God, I'm always thinking, chip away at him a little bit. Always thinking of new ideas for them and for other games. Writing them down and stuff, so I'm not completely losing them, but yeah. Yeah, that's like any of scripts. I need to get really, really sick for like a month. 
That's what needs to happen. Well, you did make a bunch of games in basic when you were young, uh, you right? You can't call those games. <laughs> those are terrible. I still count my nine-year-old stories as stories. <laughs> oh, just because they're shit doesn't mean that you can't download them. I got them up on the website. <laughs> but I have them very prominently labeled as shit games. <laughs> It's been so long. Does Leland appear in the Black Lodge? I don't even remember now. In the show. Yeah. yeah. He does? He, okay. he says, I did not kill anybody. Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah, imagine that. <laughs> imagine that. <laughs> How can you question Jack's authenticity in his representation of the show? Uh, nothing is not authentic. This yeah, is I made five thousand points. And now again. the giant shows up and he says, "You know, go to the go to the room and then go back. Whatever. I don't." House and me. House and me. House and me. Oh, are you gonna be cocky about it? You gonna be cocky about it? Right. No, I'm just gonna laugh about it. Obviously. Well, no, that, that's being cocky about it. So. You know. What? Now you gonna do it? Just because I laughed? Mm -hmm. Well then, that's okay. I did not kill anybody. So Angie, when can we jump over to your feed to stream? <laughs> <sighs> I've been debating on whether I want to continue Resident Evil via the stream or not. Why? Because I was doing it to to try and show the differences, you know, between Jill and Chris, but. It's just not that fun a game to watch, I don't think. I don't know. From what I, a lot of the walkthroughs are pretty much all Jill focused because I don't think anyone likes playing as Chris. Can you yeah. Play that well, and so you get two less slots, so it's a pain. It really is. Plus, and oh, half, and less weapons. Yeah. And half the fun of, of playing as Jill is. Every room we go into, that's a new paragraph written by Christopher that we get to read. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, well, so y'all have an extra bit of entertainment. Right, for, for yeah, I think without the walkthrough, it would be just... And that was just a random terrible. thing we stumbled across, and it's just like, it's 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 such a part of the family now. Uh-huh. It's like we know him. We, we oh, do. Yeah, Thanks to him, we know him well, all too well. <laughs> we know him better than we should. Why, why don't you just get him on Skype while you're... <laughs> You know, I bet you his screen name is the same. <laughs> That's sort of his thing, isn't it? Yeah, he also uses that screen name for the uh, Ford Taurus fan club. <laughs> of course. Which is an actual thing that exists. Which was hilarious because in his walkthrough, he talks about how much he loves owning a Ford Taurus. And then I go and I search the screen name, and on the fir first page, Ford Taurus fan club. Of course. He's big into it. I mean, that same screen name is like his eBay profile, his MySpace page. Someone's <laughs> doing a bit of online stalking. I just no, I just Google searched the the screen name, and that's all on the first page. It's not stalking if it's reporting. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not like we're always reading it on air. <laughs> We just use that to fill in the walls when we have to, to you know, go to the storage room. <laughs> Which happens a lot. Which happens quite a lot, right. yeah. I mean, seriously, I didn't know just how much of Resident Evil was going to the store. Room. <laughs> so I always feel bad when I tell Jack, oh, we forgot to do something, you gotta go all the way back. <laughs> Which has happened like three times now. Not, not as bad as I feel when that happens. Yeah, that's what I, I got aggravated on mine when I had the music notes and I was in the room with the piano and I was like, oh, I guess I can't do anything with this right now. 
because I didn't try to use it in front of the piano like an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Had to do the backtracking. I loved your video of like cut to ten minutes <laughs> later. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was pretty much the only good thing that happened on that stream, so... Like, I'm not gonna make people sit there two hours unless they really want to. See, that's why, why, Jack, I've actually not been telling you when in the walkthrough he says zombies are about to appear. No, that's good. I, I prefer like, that. Let there be some surprises. Yeah, well, there needs to be something happening that's... Uh, my points. But granted, that's also why I've been, like, missing certain things that he describes, because he does so... it does it so obliquely. Right. <laughs> And I just love how, like, in the middle of the walkthrough, we'll just, like, for two paragraphs, just like, okay, I need to tell you about this this thing that I've noticed and I think is very important. <laughs> about how you should play this game. Not about what you should do, but how you should play it. It's just... Oh. It was a cultural relic. <laughs> yeah, I even looked. Sadly, he never did one for Chris. He dedicated his life to Jill. <laughs> Maybe he identified with the character too much. I mean, his name is Chris, right? Yeah. And I wouldn't be surprised if Chris in the game drives a Ford Taurus. <laughs> well, we don't get to see what happens to him in his personal life, so we'll never know. <laughs> Not yet. Oh, is he almost at 5,000? He's <laughs> almost. 5, So do you have to actually end the game with 5,000 still, or does yes. it pay attention? Yes, you have um. to. Oh, you. You love hard games, don't you? No, I don't. I kind of hate myself right now. <laughs> yeah, now it's so giving you're... me all the fucking easy rooms. I think, I think yeah. he loves getting into an attitude of yelling at things, and he just likes using the games to get in there. <laughs> So, so you're just building up a cushion now? Is that what you're doing? Yeah, pretty much. I also want to see how high the score I can get. Oh, now, okay, now it's bragging rights. Anybody runs across the YouTube archive or whatever, give them a score to beat. Are you aware of, like, has anybody documented how high they've gotten? Nobody like, gives a shit that much. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, just. Nor do it's I expect possible. them to. I know people have done Let's Plays of it, so it's, you know... Right, yeah, uh, you know, it's been so long, I honestly don't remember... I know how you get started, but I don't remember how to beat the game and all that, so I'm kind of... I'm looking forward to watching that. How far do you have to go to beat the game? You have to get 5,000 points to be able to get the clue whenever you die. Okay. I think you've gotten enough. And then really it's like four or five puzzle okay. rooms that I made or something. Okay. And then that gives you another clue. And then you do something that one of the clues tells you to do. And you win. So we still have a little more. Which is kind of why someone should stop trying to go for a high score and should just get on with it. Never. Hint. 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 Yeah, just just remember when we get back to Resident Evil, it's the time to fight the giant snake. That's something to look forward to. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait, you mean there's another monster besides zombies? Yeah, we apparently get to shoot a snake with a bazooka, so that'll be fun. What the hell am I supposed to kill him with? <laughs> oh, I, you don't I, get I the bazooka? Not, uh, not at that point, anyway. I have a broken shotgun that I have well, to somehow <laughs> figure out how to fix. See, I'm surprised it doesn't let you just club things with the broken shotgun until you get to fix it. <sighs> Which it reminds me, I want to look that up because... There, I'm I know sure there's something you gotta do. Isn't the Chris setting supposed to be like the harder difficulty? Right. So maybe they just expect you to like jump on the snake with a knife and that's about it. Or use this or use the cigarette lighter. 
Well, it's interesting to me. Gradually is that solve it. For him to be the harder mode, he's like when you know when you start up the game, he's the default. You have to scroll over to get Jill. So you would think. I don't know. But that, that's I just their way of fucking with people's minds. That is my way. You need to have a version where you get to play Barry the Bearded Guy. Where you just basically walk around and pop up on people when they aren't expecting you. Barry is basically like dead in my version. Because he disappears like immediately. The first room can return to it. Search for the care. Cows and me, cows and me, cows and me. I like how everybody's silent now. Well, no, I was trying to let everybody hear the, the thing and see it. Okay, so we do what he says. Leave the first room. Return to it. This guy's gonna say wrong way. Wrong way. He keeps saying it over and over and over again, so you're supposed to search for the guy. Oh no, where is it? Oh, it's right there. Shadow Bob, who triggers whenever you try and leave the room. Are you lost? Ho 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 ho. Let's play a different game. What you like to play with fire? Ho 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 I got creepy. Yeah, it spawns about four or five or six of them, and yeah, I was gonna try and get it to where they would all just chase me around. Because there's a way to do that. But I'm about two years removed from remembering how that goes. And you see the statue is now replaced with the statue of my doppelganger. Bob so nicely created for me. I get what I, you know, to just kind of decipher, he said, let's play a different game. Mm -hmm. Do you like to play with fire? Yeah. And then he said, we can only stop him for a little while, which was the giant talking. Right. Yeah, the giant's your pal in the Black Lodge. Sort of. Ish. So are these, these are the, are the same puzzles or different? from what you had before. These are different. These are different, okay. This is when I was considering doing the game as sort of more of a Lolo thing. And then I was like, you know what? I really don't feel like coding all these puzzle rooms. Plus, that's not really the kind of games that were big on the Atari back in the day. Now, here's something that I did not know about my own game, uh, but I found out through watching somebody's Let's Play of it. Mm -hmm. I'll let the uh, stream catch up. Yeah. You can walk right through the statue because I didn't. So it's where you put it, I right, guess. Right. Yeah, I put the trigger. Is the mouse arrow showing up? I hope so because we're gonna need it later. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I put the trigger to uh, activate that from here to here, but apparently I didn't extend it all the way over here and did not set this part of the statue as solid for some reason. So if I ever go back and recode the game. Or update the code, rather. I'm never recoding this again in my entire life. I love that we're, when you were pointing here and here and here, oh, well, because right, of the yeah, lag, we're hearing the, the here I when you're at another here. You <laughs> we got the point. <laughs> it was funny. I was your only white arrow. Layer for voices scream. The statue points with its eyes. You already possess the white arrow. That is all I am permitted to Did you, did you quiet him? Or am I losing sound? You're losing I sound because your you air conditioner is blowing it. directly on your microphone. Sorry, hold on. I want your only white arrow. So the doppelganger is returning back to life, and we're back into the game proper. I turned it off. It takes a second to actually turn off, so cool. I'll mute my mic until it's done. Anyway, we're not playing for points anymore. We're going to follow the clues that the giant gave us. 
This is where four voices scream. There's only three here, so we're gonna keep moving on. Till we get to a hallway where there's four screams happening. And that is completely up to random chance when that happens. And I believe it's going to be in the next room, because I think I coded it to where when you're in this room, it's going to go to a four-screen hallway, or it's going to go to this one. Never mind. That's right, there's a chance that it'll go to one or the other. That was a great sentence. And it's set completely to random, but I think it's in the next room. <laughs> well, sometimes it works out that way. Uh, the, uh, some of the hallways are paired to the, some of the rooms. And that is one of them. An empty flashing room is paired to the four scream hallway, but it isn't. Just because you get the the empty flashing room doesn't necessarily mean that that's what you're gonna get. But if you're gonna get it, it's gonna be after that, most likely. Hit again. You can move the little pointer that's shooting at the owls. Yeah, you have to. In some cases. Okay, it, didn't, it didn't look like it moved, but... I moved it very gradually. Jack is very subtle about some of his playing. <laughs> That's why, because it moves at a slightly different speed than you. Okay, so, mm -hmm. statue points up. Oh. Yeah, that's about right. <laughs> ah, statue points with its eyes. Doesn't matter that one of the screams went away, that's just a gaming glitch. I know exactly why that happened, and I'm not going to bore you by trying to tell you why it happened programming-wise. Statue points with its eyes, that means the statue is looking down, pointing here, so in this room you go down. And oh, what are you doing in here? So he says, what are you doing in here? We go through the room. Can't interact with anything here. This is from the movie. A fire walk with me, I think was what it was called. Yeah. yeah. The blue guy is David Bowie, right? Remember, no. Rick? No? No, there is no blue In Bowie in this room, though? Nope. This no? is the jumping man, this is the old woman and her son, or grandson, or whatever. This is a dude with a beard, there's the uh, little man from another place. We are playing Bowie Free. It's a Bowie Free experience tonight. It's been so long since I watched the movie. So we go into the next room, and I'm going to take a little bit of time before I do that to explain so that I don't end up having to do all this again. Uh, he's going to say some stuff, he's going to start walking at you, you will not be able to move. Uh, and you remember what the giant told us, uh, the owls fear only the white arrow. You already have the white arrow, so you're supposed to use a white arrow, but how do you do it? You can't push Unzip it. your fly? What? That's... Uh, what if you're not white? Well, but... That doesn't work. Kyle McLaughlin is, is, is quite white. Well, he is, but... No, he's... Well, he's here, can, I, can I give the hint? Yeah, go ahead. I'm on a Mac right now. If you play the Mac version, it says they only fear the black arrow. Oh, I get it now. Yeah. <laughs> That's why the cursor is important. Yeah. Here's, uh, here's the yeah. Atari's. Please, games. I will take your soul now. So you die, and it's the same game over as always. Unless you click on him. What did you just do? And now we have control again. Oh, look at this. Something from a throwaway scene in the second season. It's also in Firewalk with me. Oh, He's is suddenly it? in quest for glory. Yeah. Yeah, and so you walk up to the throne because there's really nothing else to do, and we get the ending. He lost 
touched his face. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> if you get a body in an Atari game, you're doing pretty good. So, yeah. <laughs> So that's Black Lodge, a game I made two years ago and haven't played in about the same amount of time. Here's a question. Mm -hmm. Do you recommend watching Fire Walks with me before or after the TV show? I can't recommend watching Fire Walk with me, period. That movie is fucking horrible. Whether you're Yes, but if I do, and I will. Uh, okay, wait. Give me a ch ch No, you want to watch it. You want to watch it afterwards. You want to watch it after. Because it is sort of a prequel, but it also contains things that you don't learn until you watch the show. Right. That makes any sense. So it I think I think it's better to watch the show first. As a standalone movie, it's terrible. As a follow up to the series, it's terrible. <laughs> it just was not handled well. Yeah, it's not Feel free to well, disagree I'm, and I'm pretty sure you will, but Yeah. I, oh, I don't know that, that I won't. It's not that great. It's, you know, Colin McLaughlin didn't really want to be involved, so he's not in it for very long, and so they kind of had to come up with solutions to get around that. And, and they so recast, just, uh, uh, oh god, I can't even remember her character's name anymore. Laura Flynn Boyle played her? Is that the actress's name? Oh, oh, her, yeah. Yeah, I, I can't even remember can't her name. Can't remember her either. name either. Great, good, so it's not just me. <laughs> Anyway, Black Lodge 2600. Uh, yeah. I had fun making it. I'm kind of shocked that it's gotten the amount of attention that it has. If you like it, I'm glad you like it. Uh, and I am probably going to spend another two years not playing this game. <laughs> well, five years from now, can you at least code a version that gives him a nose? Because he yeah. just looks so sad there with no face. <laughs> well, he, he look, how, how can he look sad? He looks like a nightmare I had once. No face. <laughs> he, he, he actually kind of looks like Slender Man. A very relaxed Slender Man. <laughs> it's a bit of color to him. Slender Man came home from a vacation to the beach. <laughs> a another shitty indie game. 